This is Grandad Jack, as I'll remember him. Warm, protective, always joking around. Look. He meant many things to many people, but to us, his family, he is a part of us that we'll always be proud of. Smile at your granddad. Who's a good poser? Grandad and my grandma, Pat, were married for 62 years. They had three children, John, my mum, Debbie, and Peter. In 1990, I became the first grandchild. Now there are eight of us around the Christmas dinner table each year. Grandad was funny and playful and caring and kind. You could always count on him to be making a joke or, you know, just, yeah, winding somebody up. He always used to be a joker. And he used to do this thing where he would, like, look at you around the door and then he'd take his hand, he'd, like, grab onto his hair and pull himself back out the door as if there was some stranger outside pulling him out. That always just used to make me laugh. <laughs> Who's taking fishing? He's a terrible fisherman. <laughs> He used to come and watch us play football and he would teach us to fish regardless of how terrible we were and he was just kind he was kind to people granddad was always very proud of his roots in ashington and his time in ireland he loved the countryside too many years ago he bought this house in the yorkshire dales and his parents spent the later years of their life here. This place means a lot to us. We all have so many memories here, whether it's going walking or going fishing in our matching overalls. And then five years ago, I got married here. So it's a really special place for the whole family. Is that granddad? Yes, he knows it's me. Brisbane, By the time I had children, Grandad's body and mind had started to slow down. There you go. But there were always little glimpses of the big character we all loved. Who are you? Hit me or me. The humility was one of the lessons that I'd wish to take away from him. And his, his way with people. Whenever he went anywhere, people would recognise him. And he always, always made time for people. And people would ask me questions like, oh, so how many times was he with your manager? And honestly, I would have no idea. But he was just granddad to me. I look at, you know, his kids, my mum and, and uncles and the four of us and, and our cousins and think, you know, we are who we are because of who he was. He was thoroughly honest and genuine and we're all proud of his extraordinary life.